I was doing a financial plan and I was charging 250 bucks. Actually, I was charging $500, but I would waive the second half if they worked with me. So I was bribing them. Work with me, I'll waive the second half because I can sell you products and services. Do they? Not really, but I wanted to incentivize them. I wasn't trying to be mean, it's just how it worked, right? So I went 250. Then I realized, you know what? I don't want to incentivize them. I want to give them as much as I can. I did the financial plan for 500 bucks. This is before I learned the FCC sales system. Then I started working with my coach and I realized that sales was more about transformation. Sales was more about helping people. And I understood like how I could drive people to action by understanding their pain, understanding what they wanted. And so I got deep, deep, deep. And because of that, I was able to raise my price. And so instead of going 500, I think I went to 1,000. I might have done one at 750. I started to get more confidence. Okay, and I went to 1,000. And then I got a better client. How many of you have charged less and gotten really bad clients who are not committed, who do not take action? Absolutely. How many of you have charged more and then you're like, whoa, they actually care and they take action? Oh my goodness, it's insane. It's like night and day. So I started to see that and I raised my price again, 1,500. Then I went to 2,500, started increasing more. Uh, I think I went then 3,500, 5,000, 7,500, 9,000. This one program, 12,000. Now was I giving the same value when, they were when I was charging 250 or 500, yes or no? No. I had to add more and more and more, what? Value. If I didn't, they wouldn't pay it. But it also had to do with the, with the fact that they finally felt understood. Finally, someone understood like what their real problems were because I was using a system. I was uncovering the real problems. And then I got them to take action. And you know, when I sold them, who did I really sell? I sold them on them. They didn't buy me. They bought themselves like the possibility that they can transform. When it was this stage, it was transformational. This all was transformational, but it was like, I can change my life. They believed it, they did it, and they got incredible results. Who got the best results? These guys or these guys? These guys. Half the work is done for you when you get the big fat check. That's not a theory. It's a fact. It's a fact. So what you're gonna recognize is that if you lose the sale, you're missing out on helping them. Now, you're not gonna get every single sale. I know Ginny somehow, Ginny is our friend in Alaska, she's been on this roll getting 100%. She's not gonna get 100% forever, but it's pretty freaking cool right now. She'll probably have to raise her prices a little bit. Usually when you're getting that high, you're like, okay, you're charging too little. But you're not gonna get 100% of the time, but what your job is to, what your job is, is to drive people to action. That means you get a yes or a what? Not a maybe. We don't need maybes. Some of you are still chasing clients. When you walk out of this room, you're gonna stop chasing clients. How many of you would like to stop chasing clients? Say yes. Yes. Okay, absolutely. Life is better when you're not chasing clients. Let them chase you a little bit. It's like romance. Feels better when they want you. Instead of you going after them and feel like a pain in the butt, right?